Hello and welcome, my name is Erica and in today's video I am going to be giving my bathroom a little makeover. This is a bathroom in my Texas home. This was our first home and we've had it rented out for a couple of years now, but our tenants moved out and we decided not to rent it out for the time being. So I'm just trying to do little upgrades in it just to make it feel more like a home and this bathroom was one of the projects that was on my radar. This video is part of a collaboration with some amazing women. We are all doing some type of home improvement project so if you are needing this type of motivation then this is the perfect video collaboration for you to watch. This collaboration is hosted by Jessica, her channel name is Jessica Myrose and she is actually finishing up her backyard series in this collaboration so make sure to go check her video out. Everyone's video will be linked down below in my description box. Let's go ahead and jump into my video. This is what the bathroom was looking like before I got started. Luckily we did get the walls painted and I also painted the vanity. It was old and dingy and it looks so much nicer. Now that the vanity is painted I just wanted to give this bathroom a little refresh as far as decor goes. I've really been trying to be a little more open about different styles of decor so this bathroom is going to be something a little different, something out of my comfort zone but I decided I was just going to run with it and not look back and that is exactly Exactly what I did. The first thing that I'm going to do is hang these shelves behind the toilet. These are shelves that I purchased over on Amazon. Luckily I won a $25 gift card from one of my fellow YouTubers giveaways and that is what I used to purchase these shelves. Of course my husband is going to help me hang them because I am not skilled with power tools just yet but I am going to get myself there I give promise. Me love, give me all your love oh, cause I want you Makes me feel this way Don't know what you do Hold my hand Could you hold my hand Look me in the eyes You and me Yeah, that's all I need And I'll be alright I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay here with you My husband hated every second of hanging these shelves for me. It was a lot of work. I ended up only hanging two shelves in this bathroom and then I put one shelf into the master bathroom. And they did come out really nicely, but hanging them was definitely not enjoyable. Now that the first shelf is installed, I wanted to share with you a couple of the pieces that I purchased for this bathroom. This is the towel rack and I got this for $2 at a store called Black Friday. I also picked up a new shower liner. This house really needed one. It was empty before we moved in, so a shower liner 
was much needed. I also picked up this shower curtain. I purchased this over on Amazon and it's something very different, something that I wouldn't normally gravitate to, but I really did like the colors in it. It's a lot more feminine and I just really felt like I needed that vibe in this bathroom. These shower hooks are from Marshalls. I have similar hooks in my Arizona bathroom and I really wanted to use them in this house as well. These items here are items that I picked up at Black Friday also. A couple of candles. I really loved these candles. The texture on them is just really pretty and the colors as well. These are actually Target candles and that's what I loved about it most and they were really discounted. I think I got them for $2 each. The plant is from Marshalls. I picked that up sometime in June. I like to have a little pop of green in my decor and so I'm just going to be reusing that. Um, I did change out the base and I will show that to you later in the video. So this is everything that I picked up. Unfortunately, I can't shop my home, so if things look a little sparse, that's because this is all that I picked up. I know there's a few pieces that I want to add to it, but I'm going to look for those here in Arizona. And then when I go back to Texas, I'll be taking that with me and putting it up on the wall. Putting up a shower curtain is probably one of my least favorite things to do. For one, I'm short, and for two, it makes my arms hurt so badly just from being in that position for so long. Um, I really didn't like these metal shower hooks. The shower hooks that I have here in my home are plastic, and I really feel like I prefer those more because they're a lot easier to put on. I did break two of these hooks. I ended up just putting clear hooks on the ends. That way it kind of blended. I thought about taking the shower hooks back to Marshall's, but then at the end of the day, it just wasn't a big deal to me. <laughs> it was just fine. Let me know what you think about my shower curtain down below in the comments. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we look at the same old stars Battle the same old wars like so many times before is something that I was really looking forward to. I knew for sure that I wanted to use one of the shelves for toilet paper and then the upper shelf I'll use the candle and then my plant. Above that I want to put a picture frame but like I said I don't have that frame just yet. I'm going to look for the perfect one. I'm trying to be very intentional with the decor that I bring into my house so whatever goes there is going to stay there for a long time to come which is why I really want to take my time 
and be picky about the items that I'm choosing for my bathroom. To last, but all the fun times we had, I'll never forget. We will always share a bond, no matter what, because you have a piece of my heart. And I know that we're not perfect. I'm going to be stamping my toilet paper and if this is something that you're not doing you definitely want to jump on this bandwagon. What I'm going to be doing is rolling out my toilet paper, folding it and then turning on the water faucet, turning it off and then stamping my toilet paper back together. It's such an easy thing to do and I knew that if I did this correctly it could look more like a decorative piece on my shelf versus just a roll of toilet paper. I decided to switch out the base on this greenery and I'm using something that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. It's a really pretty glass uh, candle holder but I'm going to be using it just as the base for this plant. And I thought that looked really pretty uh, with the gold and the clear the little nodules on the glass. It just looks a lot more feminine. The next thing I'm going to be doing is taking off this towel rack. I do not like traditional towel racks in my homes. I prefer to have something with hooks. Usually I'll DIY my own towel racks, but since I'm not home, I don't have access to all of my tools and wood and stain. I'm just going to put something up that I found at the store called Black Friday. It only cost me $2, so it was a complete win. But before I put that up, I need to patch up the holes in this wall. I don't know why people make such huge holes in walls when they put up towel racks, but I'm going to get this all patched up. The spackling that I'm going to be using is actually from Dollar Tree. So if you're looking for something inexpensive, Dollar Tree does carry items like this from time to time. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden. Not 
bad if I must say so myself. It looks really good and I'm so excited to get the new towel rack on. So this is how this area came together. I really love the way it looks. And then I decided to add in another piece. This is from the Dollar Tree. I saw it and I thought it would look perfect in this bathroom. You can really find some hidden treasures at the Dollar Tree, so I'm glad that I found that piece. I decided to add in a room spray. This is a strawberry daiquiri room spray and I purchased this at McFrugal's Big Lots. <laughs> that tells you how old I am. I purchased this at Big Lots and it smells so good. I love the way it smells. One of the last things that I'm going to do is add a new hand soap to this sink. Soap is very important in bathrooms and then some paper towels. I don't like to hang a towel on my rack. I don't like for people to use the same towel to dry their hands with. I feel like that's a little unsanitary. So I always leave a little pile of paper towels in the bathroom. They can just grab one and throw it away. And that just seems a lot cleaner to me. Now I'm going to vacuum up this bathroom, wipe down the floor, and then put down my new rug. I can't wait to show you the rug. I'm really excited about my new rug because it is a Studio McGee rug. I've never owned anything Studio McGee until recently this year. I have a couple of pieces now. I found this rug at Black Fridays and it was $10. It fits in really well with the look that I'm going for. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some ideas on how to decorate your small bathroom. You don't always have to follow trends. Just do what feels right. Experiment with styles. It's so fun. You can always change it later if you don't like it. So let me know down below in the comments what you think of my new space. If you are new to my channel, I really appreciate you being here and I hope that you'll stick around. I'd love to get to know you. To any of my returning subscribers, thank you so much. You know I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And thank you ladies for collaborating with me today on this video. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you in my next one. Bye.